A Texas school is canceling yet another book, uh, this time The Diary of Anne Frank. That's right, the story of a young German uh, Jewish girl who hid from the Nazis in Amsterdam for two years, um, which is pretty much a foundational text when it comes to learning about the Holocaust. Um, that was considered too graphic for middle school students, arguably kids who were the same age as Anne Frank when she wrote that. Um, specifically, it is a graphic novel of Anne Frank's diary. So all the more engaging, it's the graphic adaptation. Um, and it was uh, banned. And not only was it banned, but the teacher who assigned it was summarily fired after, after showing this to her students um, or to, I don't know actually uh, their gender. But here we go, uh, the reading of the content will cease immediately. This was a letter that was sent to parents on Tuesday. Your student's teacher will communicate her apologies, it was a woman, uh, to you and your students soon as she has expressed those apologies to us. As you may be aware, following concerns regarding curricular sele selections in your student reading class, a substitute teacher has been facilitating the class since Wednesday, September 13th. Just brilliant. So yeah, not only is she going to apologize this humiliating act, you're gonna dismiss her uh, and you have a sub in there. Um, specifically, the part that they had problems with is a part in which Anne Frank, who yes, it was hiding from Nazis, but just is a teenager girl. And in it, in the Diary of Anne Frank, she has crushes on boys. She also is sort of like talking about her sexuality. She has the thoughts and that's sort of what's incredible about the Diary of Anne Frank. She has thoughts of a normal like 13 year old girl who's like just an adolescent. And that was sort of the dissonance between what she was facing, the persecution of Nazis, and her just trying to live her 13 year old girl life. So here is a depiction of that that parents freaked out about, but is part of the diary of Anne Frank. Um, it's her asking her, her girlfriend, could we show each other our breasts? Um, and as proof of our friendship, her girlfriend says, absolutely not. And then she said, if only she had known my terrible desire to kiss her. So that was the problem. Again, the curiosities of a 13 year old girl and actually the reality of someone who was ultimately killed by the Nazis. Um, uh, but again, the displaying kind of the beauty of that, just like everyday humanity um, of a young girl. Anyway, uh, then she also has thoughts. I'm getting a little, I don't know why I'm getting, it's, it's a beautiful <laughs> read. Um, but there's a beautiful depiction here um, where Anne Frank is sort of like walking through this garden. And she said, I must admit, every time I see a female nude, I go into ecstasy. If only I had a girlfriend. Now that of course is, oh, how dare you? No, no, gay stuff. Um, the graphic novel has obviously been subject to book bans before. Yes, in Florida, Florida High School removed the graphic novel after a chapter of Moms of Liberty uh, objected to the book's sexual contents and claimed it did not teach the Holocaust accurately. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're gonna police a, like Anne Frank's depiction of the Holocaust? You are absolute garbage. You're a garbage human being. Like this, I, I don't care. I don't care who you worship, but this is so disrespectful. It is so disrespectful to do this to the memory, to the legacy of Anne Frank, and to this work. I mean, Mondale, your thoughts? I have no thoughts. Like Moms of Liberty telling Anne Frank that she's not teaching or her experience through the real Holocaust are not accurate. What in the hell? What in the hell? Like, I mean, that level of privilege is off the record. Like, I mean, yeah. I, I can't even, I can't even fathom that. I don't, I don't know what happens, not just in Texas, but in this country, when kids can't learn about uh, emotions. This is why so many American adults are ill prepared to be adults. Uh, this is why Rudy Giuliani is the way he is. America has this idea that everybody gets a trophy for being the least 
being the least. This is absolutely disgusting to me. Uh, I, I am against book bans 100%. People should have access to books at every level all the time um, because without books, I know where I would be. I know what I would believe about my people and I know what my people would believe about my people. So um, this is, I'm, I'm scared. And we spend so much time talking about Florida that we didn't even realize that Texas has banned more books than Florida. Right, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, and honestly, it's more than the graphic novel. Like, what, what's next after banning the graphic version? Graphic novel version of Anne Frank is just banning Anne Frank, the diary, because uh, she mentions having fantasies about women and liking women's bodies. So yeah. you're going to gay shame a Holocaust victim. Cool. Oh my God, you're so moral, amazing. That's that's like great. I love your your moms for liberty. Oh yeah, a lot of liberty there. Mm -hmm. Just wild stuff. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Cast or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report wherever you get your podcasts, and if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.